In Proposition 8, we prove that if two triangles share a corresponding side, side, and side, then both triangles must be congruent. So to begin, we are given triangles ABC and DEF. We are also given that line AC is congruent to line DF, line AB is congruent to line DE, and line BC is congruent to line EF. Now inside the palette, we will move both triangles so that point A coincides with point D, and the straight line AC coincides with the straight line DF. Since line AC is congruent to line DF, then we know that points C and F coincide with each other. So now here's the important step. Since line AC has two lines drawn from both endpoints that meet at point B, and we have a second set of lines DE and EF congruent to lines AB and BC respectively, and coincide at the endpoints A and C, then by Proposition 7, points B and E must coincide. So now we know that points A, B, and C coincide with the points D, E, and F respectively, then by axiom 4, angle A, B, C is congruent to angle D, E, F. Now since both triangles share a corresponding side, angle, and side, then by proposition 4, triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle D, E, F, angle B, A, C is congruent to angle E, D, F, and Angle ACB is congruent to angle DFE.